Well, people living in the higher elevations are especially bracing for some of the coldest weather of the season so far. News 13's Kimberly King is streaming live in Yancey County. And Kim, how are conditions there? Good evening, Darcel. It's one word frigid, very cold out here. As Jason mentioned, the wind right now at about 15 to 20 miles per hour, making it feel well below zero. School, as you mentioned, is canceled out here. And even with the cold temperatures and the snow, about a half an inch possibly overnight, some parents are still asking why kids can't go to school. It's slow going and wise to slow it down, lest risk slipping on ice on snow-covered secondary roads tonight in Yancey County. Mom Pamela Scott taking her time down slushy hills. Pam has a four-year-old in pre-K and a 14-year-old at East Yancey Middle. As far as I know, there's no school tomorrow either. No school, she says, this week or most of last. It's frustrating when you're a single mom and you have to work. Um, with the school systems. Uh, I guess they could have school tomorrow. The roads aren't that bad. But in spots, there is plenty of ice. Well, um, when I was in school, they used to put chains on them. From what we saw, all the main roads through Mitchell and Yancey counties are clear. But get off the beaten path, some double yellow lines are covered with ice. The fact wind chills here are forecast to plummet to 10 below for some is hard to take. Well, it hasn't been this cold in a long time, and it's very freezing outside. Alexis Holcomb goes to Milan Community College in Spruce Pine. I didn't have class today or Monday or Tuesday, but if it keeps getting as bad as it is, I don't think we'll have school. But with mountains already covered, locals like Cassandra Stiles dress in layers and enjoy those enjoying all the white. And we actually had somebody snowboarding in our yard this morning, so um, I don't know. It's not so fun pumping gas, but otherwise it's okay. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, difference of opinion out here with some parents, as Pam mentioning, she'd like to see her kids go to school. But obviously, administrators feel it is just too dangerous to put the buses out here. You can see a little bit of black ice down here below me. And we did see this on secondary roads where buses often have to go in combination with the fact that it is very cold for any child to have to walk anywhere out in this cold for any period of time. Reporting live in Yancey County, Kimberly King, News 13.